Right here I have two TVs, each one has an Apple TV connected to it, and we can extend my MacBook Air's screen to these TVs. Let's get started. So here I am on my MacBook Air, and I'm gonna go to the top right and click on the little control center, I believe it is, icon. And now if I click on screen mirroring, I can see the list of all of the Apple TVs on my network. So this is 102 and this is 41. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on 102 and it's gonna go ahead and connect. And if you've never connected before, it's gonna ask you for the password. So just go ahead and type that in. And you can see that it is set as use as separate display. So when I have it set as use as separate display, it's basically going to extend my laptop screen to the Apple TV screen, which is fantastic, but you also might see it set to mirror. So now the same thing that's on here is now on my, your Apple TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-extend it because we're gonna use ProPresenter with it. So we wanna make sure that we have, this is my operator screen, my primary ProPresenter display, and then this is my secondary display. So now if I go up into my screen configuration tab, screens, configure screens in ProPresenter. Now I can go to my main output and I can select, if I click identify, so now I can see just to make sure that I'm on the right screen if you have a bunch of different ones selected in your system. So I'll select it and now my main output is going to this TV. Sometimes you might notice that your network connection is not quite fast enough to keep up with the worship motion background playing behind the lyrics. So sometimes it might be best to just go ahead and clear the background and just put the lyrics on the screen. So now you've got a lot less as you're clicking through slides, a lot less that can go wrong. So the other option, let me go back to here and here. The other option is to use your Apple TV, your one extended desktop as your stage display. Uh, connect a hardwired connection from your computer to your main screen and then use the Apple TV as your stage display. So if I go up into screens, configure screens, I can go to my stage screen one and I can select my Apple TV. I'll reassign to new because it's saying, hey, this is already assigned somewhere. And I'll close out of the screen configuration tab. So here, instead of having my main output on the Apple TV, now I have my stage display output on the Apple TV and I'm gonna use that hardwire connection from my computer to go to my main screen for the audience. That way I don't have to worry about my primary screen being behind or slow at all. It's always gonna be a hard connection for my computer. So, and as I click through the song slides on my stage display, things look great. Okay, so I've got a second Apple TV here, and unfortunately, because I can't extend my desktop to both Apple TVs, I'm not gonna be able to put my primary output on the first one and my stage display on the second one. But wait, there's more. So the best option really is to go to the Apple st App Store and go find the ProPresenter stage display application that's available on the store. Type in ProPresenter and there is the stage display application ready to go. So you can use this as a network solution. So now we have the reliability of ProPresenter's stage display app running on my Apple TV while my computer is extended to utilize my main display. So if you wanna use that, you can definitely do that and that's a good option. Actually, you could probably run the stage display on both TVs, and then you could build a stage display output of ProPresenter and use that as your primary display output of ProPresenter. Let me dive into that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we can go ahead and take our two Apple TVs and download the stage display app to both of them. Now we're gonna lock in the one so that we're just seeing the main output from ProPresenter. And then the second one is gonna be able to see all of the stage display layouts and changes as we go through our service. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go up to screens, edit layouts, and this is the stage display layout window. So I created this slide called full screen and basically it's just a fill that is monitoring screen, a screen preview of the main output. So it's just monitoring the main output. So whatever goes into here is gonna be sent to that. So if I go ahead on my quad multi-view and just go ahead and change this to full screen, it shows the main output. Change that back to my quad multi-view so that I can monitor all the outputs at the same time. Uh, if you're interested, this is my ProPresenter 7 templates available on my website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock in the first Apple TV to see this full screen stage display layout and nothing but. 
So I've never actually used the Stage Display app on the Apple TV, but on my iPad, for example, I can just hold down on the screen and then it'll bring up the settings window and I can set it to not follow ProPresenter and I can set it to look at a specific Stage Display layout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the full screen layout. Now, if you're wondering on the regular Stage Display output going to the second Apple TV, how do we get it to know what changes are being made to the Stage Display layout? That is all happening inside of the Stage Display app. It's following ProPresenter.